Hi, it's Amy, Amy Goes to Uganda, and I am actually standing in my kitchen. Today is day four for a few more minutes of the Back to Basics uh, Transformation Academy Semester 3 um, Challenge. Yeah, we're going to all in. Yay. Okay, so I've had some questions about what kind of juicer I had. Oh, check in today. I didn't get enough water. I didn't get enough calories. I didn't get enough protein. And I didn't exercise. We went shopping. Well, I kind of exercised, but not really. Um, we went shopping and we walked a lot. And um, I'm trying to get in my water before midnight. And I've been running around cleaning my kitchen, which I'm really sore. So I would count that, yes, as an exercise. Um, but I don't know. So I've been asked a couple of questions about what kind of juicer I have. Um, I will tell you that I had a crappy juicer before. I did get two um, large um, juices in today, and I honestly don't remember what they were. And I did have a salad at Cheeseburger Paradise, minus everything except like, like just veggies. Yeah, that's all it was. Um, it was good. Well, I don't know. Just plain and lettuce hurts my stomach. And my lap band, so I don't know if that's just my lap band. I can eat other kind of, uh, like, kale, everything else. But lettuce kind of hurts my stomach, so I don't know. Okay, so um, let's see here if I can do this. Oh, man, I can't. Well, let me switch sides so you can see my juicer. Let's see here. Here it is. Woohoo! That's my Omega... Um, that's a wide or mega mouth BMJ something I can't see it um, so that's what that is but I have also organized my salad and juicing um, thing now remember I'm half like or I'm trying to go as much raw as I possibly can um, but I'm new at this. Wow, my hair really looks red in this slut. Um, so, it's not, there are, like the last shelf is, just don't even look at that, because that's Jacob's, but everything else, um, like the second shelf is like my vegan stuff, well it's vegan, it's all vegan, it's my vegan stuff, but it's not necessarily um, raw at all, and it's gluten and some of that. But I'm going one step at a time. So, here. Can you see it? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, it would be awful if I had my finger in front of the camera, right? So, that is my refrigerator. And I organized it. You're going to be really dizzy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure you are. Um, I've organized it a little bit. Um, I tried to use the actual um, like cookie um, cookie tray or cookie sheet trays on it, and that just didn't work out for me. So this is what how it ended up. There's hummus in there. Um, there's food so I can quickly eat. Like there's sprouts in there, um, things to make um, stir fry already cut up and things like that. Um, salads. Um, then there's my juicing stuff too. Um, my favorite kind of lettuce is actually not in there. I, I think I mentioned that like the first day or something like that. So that's kind of how that is. Let's see. Oh, and then also I have, um, I've talked a lot about my favorite products. Gardein. Um, this is actually my favorite. This is what I've been using for my salads um, at night to get enough protein in. Um, they have ancient grains. It, there is soy in it, but it's really good stuff. Um, oh, and then over here are my some of my fruits um, and my nuts. Let's see. Oh, and then I do have... I'm hoping you're getting this. I have a pineapple because I'm going to try juicing a pineapple. I think I can do this. And then I have put, because I got a really good sweet deal on um, strawberries and blueberries. So I'm going to dehydrate those before I go to bed. And, um, or I'm going to put them on before I go to bed. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. And then there's the um, Dr. McDougall's linels, low sodium linels. Love this stuff. Really good. And then all of his soups, like um, for days that I'm freezing to death and I just want to come home real quick, easy for this challenge. And then this chunky tomato. I haven't had that, but I really want that, so I think I'll eat that tomorrow for dinner, maybe. And maybe I'll take it to lunch. I'm not sure yet. So, then I love this stuff. Um, I've got that on hand. That's the coconut and peanut butter spread. I've got that on hand just in case um, I have, I need something now kind of thing. Oh, I also bought these, and I didn't realize that they were all vegan. Um, organic veal. I've had these before. It's one car per serving, and this is, um, they actually have a ranch. Oh, you can't see me. I'm not in the picture. A vegan ranch. Um, I was really, and it's gluten-free, um, which I was really excited to learn about. But... This is my all-time favorite, Annie's, um, like goddess salad dressing. Um, a little goes a long way. That's why I like it, because I can actually do, um, what is it? I can actually do um, several, you're walking with me. Yep, okay. Um, I can do two tablespoons like it requires, and then I'm done. This is the first time I've sat down since I got home, and I got home at 9, and it's like um, 11, 15. So, yeah. Um, that's my a quick overview of my fridge, what I'm eating, and my juicer. And I also have a dehydrator, which I got at Christmas time. I have a food processor, so as I start transitioning away from... Um, cooked vegan products, easy cooked vegan products. Not that raw foods is hard to do because it's raw. Yep. But like the crackers and things like that take a little time to actually prepare. So you may like a day or two. So um, as I start doing that transition, I'll keep you up to date. But um, yeah, that's, that's my update for today. Um... I didn't have an official workout, but I do feel like I worked out because I've been working since I got home. I haven't sat down, cleaned out the fridge, washed everything up, you know, and just sorted. Like, okay, this is it. Cut it up, you know, and just already prepared it so that when I wake up in the mornings, I will be, you know, we're having broccoli and cauliflower and kale and carrots today in our juice. Um, I got red cabbage tonight and I got a crazy deal on peppers and kind of the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do this is because everything was just scattered and um the, at least in the Tupperwares containers I don't think that they're going to go as bad as quickly as you know of course we're juicing a lot um Jacob at first I can't I know there were peppers in it I know there was carrots in it and an apple uh oh yeah there was um char in my juice this morning and I had trouble with that um, be careful when you juice char because it will get stuck in the sides so um, that was it okay so quick update kind of rambled sorry but I showed you a lot of stuff so I'm gonna get off because I don't want to be over 9 15. bye